Hey guys, it's Lonnie coming to you again today. Just wanted to say hey. It's been a little little while. Just wanted to run that little clip there. Um, just kind of kind of want to talk to you a bit this morning. Kind of I've been on for a while, but uh, anyhow, been trying to get some uh, maintenance in order and uh, just getting ready for the king. And uh, not only that, but uh, trying to be here for the family. And I guess this would be a good time, I guess, for all you that uh, don't like to go to the doctor and all that stuff. You might want to just uh, start focusing on that a little bit. Um, you can't be a witness if you're not here to be a witness. Um, I just uh, changed some priorities. I kind of felt that the Lord, uh, I know some, some may say, you know, why haven't we seen you in a while? And uh, some are probably glad you haven't saw me, and that's okay, too. Uh, I won't even go the southern way and say God bless you uh, but anyhow um, just kind of doing a little housekeeping um, I feel that what I haven't changed anything of, of what I had been speaking on uh, what what this world calls a church today is not a church biblically speaking it is not the church it is not, it is, I, I feel it's blasphemy to even call it a church. And uh, many of you that have listened to me in the past, you, you know exactly what I mean. And uh, if you're unclear on that, go to Jesus Name Ministries on YouTube. There's plenty of content out there. Over 100 videos out there. Uh, maybe not just particular on that, but uh, anyhow, I just want to, uh, again, come on here. Um, to kind of exhort and warn some of you that are not taking care of yourself, um, making sure that uh, your I's are dotted and your checks, uh, T's are crossed and you make the right uh, checklist and check those things off. Um, your family's important. And if you don't have a family, um, you, you have a purpose here and God wants you here for a reason or you wouldn't be here. And uh, it's only for you to seek that out um, and uh, not join some religion and have them seek it out for you or tell you what you should be doing. Uh, but anyhow, and again, you and I only are going to give an account to God for our sins and our misdeeds and the things that uh, we do here on this earth. And uh, like I tell people that, that don't wanna believe, even if you don't believe, what if? What if it's true? Um, wouldn't you rather do it and, and it not be true? Because you're not giving up anything. You're giving up heartache uh, cruelty, you're giving up basically sin um, to not go to heaven if it exists. And my faith says it exists, and uh, your faith may not. But as you go through, if you apply that little measure of faith to God, he'll show you that he exists. Now, a lot of people hold God to, hey, if I, if I don't get rich or I can't pay my bill uh, for the electric this, this week, then you don't exist. Well, we, we can't put God in those, those terms. I know there are references in the Bible where <laughs> Jacob did that. Um, Gideon did that. Um, so, yeah, there, there, Hezekiah did that. Um, so there are, there are things that God will go above and beyond or just kind of step out of the zone, so to speak, uh, the norm, uh, just like the lady with the issue of blood. And, and uh, so anyhow, it can happen. And if you have the faith to make it happen, uh, I say go for it. But anyhow, I don't want to just be running on here, but uh, this, this message that this guy uh, put on that I played here in the beginning, uh, it's just, just amazing that... Uh, people allow other people to have so much control in their life 
um, they will shame you. They will apply uh, what they feel the word of God is to you wrongly. Um, they're doing it every day. Um, they're deceived and they're deceiving. Um, so I'm telling you, there's no one but you that has to be accountable. And I would say that if you are, are just coming to this, you're finding out that uh, this thing for you is not working out, that uh, you need something more from Jesus or a higher power, which we will say that Jesus is the ultimate higher power. Um, religion is not the way to go. EAAA is not the way to go. Now, if, if you do want to go to those things, just don't look for salvation in those things, okay? Um, better life, I go to the doctor because they have access to tests that will allow me to see what my body's doing. I'm not putting my faith in them. I can't just go to the hospital and say, hey, I need some blood work up on me and this is what I want. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll caveat that with this, that yes, you can buy packages, um, panel, blood panel packages that, that tell you if you have this or that and they will check. And so we, we are coming to a point that yes, there are some of those, but, but to de determine the markers for certain things that a doctor is trained to see that you can't see. I just don't feel like I can be my own doctor. So um, I look to them and then I ultimately look to God. But if I don't know something's wrong, I can't fix it. And so that's what I'm trying to tell you this morning is, is, is kind of where I've been is just kind of focusing on things to uh, better my family, better uh, my my mental capacity and to uh, strengthen my faith in Jesus. And so just sometimes you step away and you do an assessment and you say, where am I? Where am I going? Am I still doing the right things for the right reasons? And what obligations might you have that is outside some religion or some peer pressure or some group of friends that depend on you to be X, Y, Z, and you can't really be you, you, you. Um, and I don't say you, you, you in the sense that, uh, oh, I'm just gonna do what I wanna do because I'm my own God. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the person that God may be leading you to be that is not uh, conflicted with peer pressure, religion, uh, your job. Uh, so anyhow, and no, no means do I say quit your job, go do this or that. If God provides a means for you to do that, amen. But uh, anyhow, again, with this guy talking about people standing up for Jesus, and I'm gonna just play it again so it's, it's back fresh. I just wanna give you a little, hey, I've been away for a little bit. I haven't been doing any videos. Uh, been focusing on spending time with my kids, my family, uh, taking care of myself, uh, making sure that everything's good. And uh, so hopefully we'll, we'll ramp back up a little bit as the Lord lays things on my heart. And uh, But I kind of felt that I wasn't really dropping the ball on anything. I wasn't changing on anything. Um, there's plenty of videos out there. If you need somebody to hear the message, there's plenty that has been already recorded. So anyhow, um, we'll get back in and I've just been seeking the Lord for things. And, uh, as he gives me something, I will, I will definitely, uh, try and bless you with it, share it. Um, I'm nobody, uh, except Jesus be with me. And, uh, so anyhow, let's, let's go through this and I'm not going to really expound on it a whole lot, but. This is, this is what people in religion say today. I did a, a call at the church. I got to speak out the other week, and I said, are there men who will hold the line for biblical truth in this country? Stand up. One guy stood up. Now, when you say biblical truth, again, you know, not everything in that Bible that has been written is something for you to do. And this is why we have 35,000 variations of of, of followers of Christ, as they say. Um, 
So that that's a problem. So you have got to get to the point where you know Jesus and the Holy Ghost can speak to you and guide you through those words and he can direct your paths. And that is what it's all about. Not just going to some church and being a man pleaser and being uh, uh, another another uh, number on a Sunday school board. So anyhow, let's keep going. There was like a thousand people in there. And I rebuked the whole church. I said, you want to be bold for Christ outside? You can't even be bold in front of a bunch of Christians? You know, I, I just want to stop here. That's That's all good and well in the sense that they are seeing their hypocrisy even within their own false way of teaching. And, and they are seeing that. And uh, so, but here the whole thing is, they, they, you know, I, I was at, at some point saying, you know, maybe I do better from the inside. And I'm like, no, <laughs> you don't do better from the inside. You don't go into a bar and drink with the drunks uh, to tell them that they shouldn't be drinking, okay? Um, and just, you know, the, the, the strongest form of protest is non-participation. That is your strongest form of protest. You do not, you, you eschew evil, you, you turn from evil, you don't go dabble in it uh, with that. So, uh, does that mean don't talk to a sinner or whatever? I'm a sinner, so I, I'm not. I'm not so, uh, and I don't mean I. Uh, <laughs> I say that that I was once a sinner, and I do uh, mess up every once in a while. I'm human, but I have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous, and so we have to stay on our toes with those things. Uh, so we all get attitudes. We all say something off the cuff. Uh, we are not perfect. We go to the one that is, and that is Jesus Christ, because he is our propitiation for our sins, and that we know that if we confess our faults to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us. All right? So anyhow, that's what I want to bring out, and these guys here, and let's let's just continue on till this is done. And then the, the guys were like, you know, I guess I better stand up. And I'm like, no, you're not off the hook. Okay, so who who is this guy? Because he he had an epiphany that 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 we're he's seeing a lot of hypocrisy within his religion, and now because he sees that he 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 somehow gets to take authority over it and call it out, and he he is not going to let them off the hook. Who who is he? See, this is the problem with religion today is because there is a hierarchy and everybody's just just combating for that position that pole position they want to be higher and higher than the other person and, and oh look at you well i'm better than you because you did this and you look at your life blah 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 look at mine look i don't have all those problems look i should be better than you you know this this and i've i've told you guys this over and over again uh matthew <laughs> mark and luke all three uh, Jesus said, "You don't, you don't compare yourselves among yourselves." And Jesus said, "This will not be in my kingdom. This will not be in among my people." That's that's basically what Jesus said uh, when the mom said, "Hey, I want my two sons to be on your left and right hand side." Jesus said, "That ain't that don't happen here. I don't play that mess." But religion is all about it. All right, let's go on. You stood up out of guilt. <laughs> This is where the issue is, and judgment starts in the house of God, and I believe as Christians, we need to be calm. Again, judgment starts at the house of God. This, if you want to frame that properly, when you go in there and look at it, I think it's in Galatians maybe, um, but it's in one of, the, one of the epistles there. And if you look at that, who is talking? They're talking about a man-made church setup. And this church setup is not founded by Jesus. This thing is not what Jesus had meant for us to do because we will be controlled, or I say control, we will allow control to one, and that is the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Amen. And this guy, when when they quote that stuff, this is talking about the, the framework of a business system 
of a religion which we have nothing to do with when you serve Jesus purely. Let's go on. Calling Christian men to say, look, it's, it's time to stop playing games. It's time to get your foot out of the world. It's time to die to yourself. You have a cross to carry. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of these things that they say, oh, yeah, well, that's right. We should die to ourselves daily. And, and that's that comes from uh, some words, Paul. Not everything Paul said was bad. I'm just telling you right now what Paul set up as a church had nothing to do with Jesus. That is wrong. It is a religion. Jesus spoke against that. He railed against the Pharisees and the scribes. And that is exactly what Jesus meant. That you are not looking to me. You are not being led by the Spirit who are the real sons of God. But you are being dictated to. You put up man's traditions over God's. And that is what we're looking at today in religion. Get out of it. If you want to, if you want to call it your, a club just to just to go check out people, you want to have friends with people that go to church, go ahead. But I'm not going to participate because my strongest form of protest is by not conforming, not participating in the things that God has showed me is very wrong. All right, let's go. And that doesn't happen in secret; it's happening in public. All right, so that's that's pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of throw that out there just to give a little backdrop and, and, and stuff. But just know that if you're not following Jesus, if you're entangled in a web of religion, if you and again, we've been over this several times. Those that you those of you who have have watched any any amount of the videos is that we I have been there. I know exactly where I was. I was with you. I was a part of you. I was among you. I was a, a contributor, not just a participator. I was a contributor. And I say today, leave religion. Find Jesus. You may think you've got Jesus within religion, but I'm telling you, you have to pick. You have to choose. Jesus doesn't have uh, uh, you can't just go with Jesus and go with religion. There's one or the other, and you're going to have to follow that. Anyhow, God bless you guys, and I appreciate uh, any of those that listen, and uh, I hope we, we bring you some content that is good for you, um, That and we'll, we'll just keep doing what God said to do, and that's, that's kind of where we're at. And uh, once again, I appreciate uh, anyone that listens. I'm not out to make a name. I could care less. I want you to know Jesus. All right. Thank you. Have a good day and God bless.